All right, everyone. I saw a story that kind of tickled my fancy and wanted to bring it to you. Uh, the headline of the story is that Christmas music is bad for your mental health, which I found to be kind of entertaining. And the article states that a British, British, why can't I say that right? British psychologist by the name of Linda Blair, of all people, I <laughs> just love it, Linda Blair, uh, is stating that Christmas music will not help you relax. It actually encourages your stress levels. And I'm reading it, and I'm, I actually, yes, I'm a Halloween babe. I love Halloween. I'm not putting my, my witch cups away. Um... You know, and but I also love Christmas music, and I'm actually starting to get my house decorated for Christmas. I have my garland over my fireplace. I don't know if the light is coming out very well, but so that that's over my fireplace. I do have some color swatches on my wall. Sorry, I'm going to be painting my living room, and I'm trying to decide which color I like better. Um, but so that's why you see different swatches of paint color on my wall. I live alone, so it doesn't bother me. Anyway, I like Christmas music. I like singing the, the old Christmas songs. I like turning on the Christmas channel, listening to the music, because it makes me feel good. It helps me get into the spirit, and it makes me feel more generous towards other people, helps me, you know, have a little more patience, and and seeing the world and, and the winter wonderland and just all reminiscing as a child and all the Christmas movies that just warm your heart. I, I'm a sucker for all that. I love all of that. Now, I don't watch the 25 Nights of, of a Romantic Christmas and Meeting the Love of Your Life movies. But I mean just people being good to each other and generous to each other in general. I like the feeling at Christmas time. But what the article cites or what this psychologist cites is that people are getting stressed out listening to the music because they can't live up to the expectations of the holiday. Well, what is the holiday? I think we need to step back and look at what is the holiday? What is Christmas about? To me, Christmas is about being with your, your family, being with your friends, enjoy, <coughs> in, sorry, enjoying each other's company. <coughs> and Bela is seconding that. Although Bela hasn't flown home to California yet ever, so I don't know if, Ka if Bela would like the flight home to California if we went back home for Christmas, which I work in a field that we are open 365 days out of the year, so I can forget going home at the holidays. Um, but it's about being with, with your friends, your family, enjoying their, their company, enjoying time with one, one another, it, for me, it's never really been about gifts, but for me, I also see my gift giving is an expression of, I, I'm not someone who, who's going to, who's really going to go out and tell people, hey, I love you. I care about you. I don't say that every day. And so at the holidays, the expressions of the gifts that I give to you is my way of saying, I love you. Like, I'm not good with, with that, with those three words. I'm, I'm really not good with those three words. I say it to Bela all the time and to my other pets, but I'm not good with saying it to people. And for me, I show people that I care about them or I love them through my actions. So if I buy you a gift, it's my way of saying, I'm thinking about you, I like you, I love you. I'm not always going to verbally say it, so this is how I express it. Um, so I tend to go somewhat overboard when I can afford it on presents for my family and my friends. But I don't see Christmas as something that we need to stress each other about. Christmas is really what you make it. And if you really focus on, especially when you start young as a child, it's about family. It's about friends. It's about being together. It's nice to have presents, but maybe families should limit the presents to you get three presents a piece. Baby Jesus got three presents. You get three presents. That's it. 
you get no more. So if you're not happy, you know, but you, you know, Thanksgiving is about showing gratitude for the things that you have. And Thanksgiving is sort of wedged in the middle between Halloween and Christmas. And Christmas, the, the thing that I think is stressing people out more about Christmas are the, the superficial things. I have to go out and buy a present. No, you don't. You know, a present could be as much as I'm giving you a gift certificate if your friend has, has a child. Um, you know, you have a married friend, they have a child. I'll, I will give you a night of free babysitting. I mean, it doesn't even have to come from a store. It can be, you know, I, I'm good at making something. My friend needs a bookcase. I'll make them a bookcase. It doesn't have to be, but it doesn't have to come from a store. And I think people get so caught up in their lives and their jobs and the rat race that they're in that they forget about those things. And the stress is not coming from the music. It's coming from us. And the expectations that we put upon ourselves and that we put upon other people. And the only part about Christmas that I actually don't like, and of course Christmas is also, depending on your religion, it's also about celebrating the Yule, the changing of the seasons, welcoming winter. So, you know, it, for some people it's about, you know, fall, you know, the, the changing seasons. Um, so there's a lot of different things that are, you know, celebrated in December. But the, the main, I think, thing that connects every the holidays amongst, you know, across cultures is it's about spending time with people that you love and care about and showing appreciation for those people. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that Christmas has now been pushed back and now it's being celebrated before Halloween. Now, Halloween is my favorite holiday. I love Halloween. I love decorating my yard. I love seeing the, the little kids in their costumes come up and, and the, you know, wanting candy and the, the scary stories and the whole atmosphere of Halloween. Just as I like the atmosphere of Christmas, it's a changing of the seasons. But imagine, if you would, me taking my favorite holiday of Christmas and starting to decorate my yard in June forgetting that there's a 4th of July. By the way, how many countries have a 4th of July? Answer, all of them, right? 4th of July, the 4th day in the month of July, right? Okay, get it, good. Anyway, imagine if I started playing Halloween music and decorating my yard in June. You're gonna think I'm weird, there's something wrong with me, and that's the problem with Christmas, is Christmas is creeping back further and further Maybe it's to remind people to go out and to buy things, but that's the corporate side of the holiday, which has nothing to do with the holiday, except what we have allowed people to put on our holidays, the, the corporations. And the problem is, is that there are certain stores that have start, started playing Christmas music in October. And that's what's pissing people off, pardon me for saying that word, but that's what's really annoying people, is you haven't even had Halloween yet, you haven't had Thanksgiving yet, and we're playing Christmas music at, at different stores. That's where people are getting upset, because Christmas music, there are some people that listen to Christmas music year-round, just like I listen to Ghostbusters and the Monster Mash year-round. I, you know, and different uh, songs that I associate with Halloween, and I enjoy, you know, horror flicks year-round, not just in October. But um, I think that's where people are getting upset, is you have one holiday creeping up and, um, you know, taking over the other holidays, and it's like, no, every holiday has its month, it has its place, and we celebrate them one at a time. We don't put one before the other because it would be like having fall taking over summer. You know, who wants, I mean, I, I would love fall weather and summer, but you know, it, it would be as if the seasons were to screw up on us and decide to randomly change because, you know, mother nature needs to make some money to, to stay alive and keep those pipelines running. I don't know. But um, 
anyway, I like Christmas music, but I do like my Christmas music closer to December than October. And with that, I will wish you all happy Halloween, happy Thanksgiving, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy, happy, happy everything, and a Merry Christmas. Shoot, it's November. They tricked me. Talk to you later.